And you got to concentrate on the things I'm about to tell you so that you can create new habits. And then the ways and means for that realization will come to you. Now, the key to the end part of this sentence is the realization has to be worked out and successfully put into operation. You see, the realization has to be successfully worked out and put into operation. Okay, now, Brian, what do you mean by that? Well, it, it, it speaks to what I just said about my son. I don't mind literally living vicariously through people you look up to. I love watching Shark Tank. Man, I go, man, Mark Cuban just gave this man $2 million. Like, I live vicariously through all these guys. But the ways and means for its realization is what I'm looking for so that my son can see the realization happen through his father. In other words, I work for my last name. I don't work for my first name. So when you create new habits, it's going to be tough. Even when I give you, I'm going to give you four ways in a second. I'm going to give you four ways to break old habits and create new habits before we end the, um, end the webinar. I'm going to give you four things you can do to create new, new habits. But I want you to understand when you wake up every morning for your last name and you stop the minute you stop waking up for your first name, that's when everything's going to come into crystallization. So let's talk about crystallization. What do, I, what, do I, what do I mean by what do I mean by crystallization? Here's how this works. Crystallization, I want you guys to write this down. Crystallization begins with your environment. Your environment is the mental feeding ground out of which the food that goes into your mind is extracted. Do you guys know that you spent the majority of your time eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner with your financial advisors? That's your family. Let me say that again. This is not a knock on your family because I did the same thing. A lot of you guys spent every night, every afternoon, and every morning, or a variation of, eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner with who are currently your financial advisors. That is your family. That's why most of us never leave a legacy because our financial advisors didn't have excellent financial advice. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about 99.9% .9 of the population. Your grandmother can only teach you what she knows. She taught your mother and father. Your mother and father can only teach you what they know. Here's what happens. At some point, my environment had to change and I started to, I started to eat lunch, breakfast, and dinner with people who are today billionaires. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. Now, here's what happens if you're not careful. The old environment meaning your mother, father, brother, sister, they will start to despise the fact that you're leaving the dinner table. They don't understand that you're leaving the dinner table to create new habits and bring back the substance so we all can eat. See, if your mother, see, thank God, my mother and father and my siblings and my cousins and everything, they weren't like this with me. That like they they always supported every business venture, every endeavor, and, and, it, and they had to because I, I made sure I killed it, right? But my point is, even when I struggled, they never knocked me because they knew that I was leaving the dinner table. I won't be at breakfast, I won't be at lunch, and I won't be at dinner with anybody at this table for a while because we have maxed out. In other words, beans are starting to burn on the grill. <laughs> okay, I wanted to be the last bean that burned on the grill. So the only way that beans will no longer burn on the grill is I got to leave this dinner table, go eat and get some more meals from people who are eating better than us so I can bring the meals back home. 